Well, hi everybody. Just be bacon, what be shaking. And, um, as we all saw, and Rooster Teeth announced, and, you know, pretty much everything announced, because it was the biggest thing of this month in gaming, at least in my opinion. Battlefield, or Battlefront 3, Star Wars Battlefront 3 was announced. And, uh, let me, let me just preface this so that, you know, I, I do come out sounding somewhat knowledgeable on the uh, whole thing here. Uh, my first experience with video games in general was Star Wars Battlefront, the first game. Right? Pandemic Studios did a wonderful job creating the game. I thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, there were huge multiplayer, and I was eight when it released. I got it the week one when it released. So, the, the whole thing... Right now is the the year later I got Battlefront 2, and then I ended up logging 17,000 hours combined for those two games. I'm still playing Battlefield or Battlefront 2. I'm modding it. I'm still you know having a whole lot of fun with that game, even after the servers closed and everything. So uh, last year we had the whole reveal at EA of Battlefront 3, and there goes my mic, let me pick that up real quick, sorry, um, but we got this whole reveal at EA, I was there, of Battlefront 3, and they revealed that DICE was making it, and I was the absolute happiest camper in the world that day, solely because I was playing a whole lot of Battlefront, or Battlefield, at the time, and I was expecting ground to space battles, and then blowing up half the planet, and then, you know, all this kind of crazy stuff, and XL players, but then, here we are this year, right, we get our first look at the game engine, and a actual trailer for the game. There will be, alright, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna skip that for a second, I was still really happy until three days after when there was a whole thing with EA and people were asking them so what all is going to be in the game you know will there be our ground to space battles and how's the campaign going to work with you know episode 7 being released all right EA's response was that there will be no campaign it is you make your own campaign yeah that right off the bat Biggest turnoff for me. I, I enjoyed my campaign. Really liked it. And um, the next biggest thing for me was the... There will be no space battles. Um, alrighty. So if you paid attention, you know, maybe about a minute ago, I was going on about my whole ground of space battles and blowing up half the planet. If you ever somehow played a match with me in Battlefront 2, which I don't know how you would because I only played on private servers for the longest time, but before then I played on Big Republic and space battles were my thing, right? That was mostly what I did. That's most of my mods right there, space battles, alrighty? And then the third biggest thing, which is probably yet another reason why I'm not getting the game. I, I, I refuse to buy Battlefront 3. I know it's a reboot, I know it's not a sequel, but still, there will be no Galactic Civil. And for those of you who don't understand Star Wars or, you know, don't, you know, avidly keep up with it and all that, Galactic Civil is the Clone Wars. Um, so, with all that said, there will be none of that kind of stuff. And that is all I played Battlefront, or Battlefield, or Battlefront, whatever it is. I'm getting mixed up because now we're talking about EA and DICE and all that. I played for the longest time Space Battles and Clone Wars. And I enjoyed my 64 player teams. And I enjoyed my 20 plus bots on screen with my 64 players. You know, like, that's, I, I get it. It's been 10 years, and the whole gaming industry has changed significantly. And that D DLC is a really huge factor in a lot of games now. But really, 
really. They're they're planning on implementing some of this stuff through DLC. Ten bucks says that's exactly what they're gonna do. None of it's been confirmed yet, but that's all the rumor right now. I know, I and they've already announced free DLC in the month of December when um, episode seven released. Um, but it's like no, we're not paying sixty bucks for a half finished game that you had ten let me ten years. Let me spell this out for you. T E N that that's supposed ten, right? Y E A R S. Ten years to develop. Alrighty, so anything I, I get it. Their their whole new engine with the biggest quotate quotation marks ever. Whole new yeah, I, I doubt that too at this point. Um I'm I'm not gonna go out straight bashing EA and Dice. I mean they've made some of my favorite games ever. Bad bad company too. I'm I'm looking right at you right now. Um But um what they've what they've done is they've, you know, lost half of the game. They've taken out half of the game in order to solely focus on Galactic Civil or Galactic Oh man, now I forget the uh, the whole rebellion. And you know what? Rebel the, the the first three movies were great. I loved them. I still love them. I watch them every Sunday. That's kind of what I do. Um, but they what they do is I understand that they wanted to focus solely on that, and I'm fine with that. I I would have still bought the game if they didn't if they announced beforehand that there weren't going to be any Clone Wars. I still would have bought it. But they they're focused on a make your own story. I'm I'm not really not really a big fan of this whole idea here. I I I understand that that's kind of how Titanfall worked and all sorts of games like that. And you know Skyrim, Morrowind, Oblivion. It's make your own story. You have you have your own path. You know, but I don't understand how that will fit in to a Star Wars game. I may or may not pick up the game. It, it, it's probably going to turn out the same way it did with me and uh, ESO. I picked up ESO and or I, I was actually invited to the the, uh, deal, or the beta for ESO and I should have jumped on it then but I realized that there's going to be a monthly subscription, and I bowed out without even starting my beta trial, right? Then, they, you know, they get rid of that this year. There goes my phone. Um, then they announced this year that they're getting rid of the subscription, and they've done that. And you know what? Sales boomed. Everyone's bought ESO now. All of my friends on Steam, they all have it, save maybe Janzer and Psycho, because I don't know what they're doing with that. I doubt they're going to get it in general. But, um... I didn't even get it on Steam. I bought it straight off my Anthology Edition, and then I didn't. I, I picked it up with the Anthology Edition, actually. Um, but um, it's it's just the whole principle of we're taking out half of the whole Battlefront series in order to replace it with. Very good. I I'm I'm not gonna bash EA and Dice for this. I'm 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 betting right now it's gonna be very good and very polished what they're po what they're you know getting in. But I'm not a huge fan of playing with randoms. I enjoy playing with a couple friends and no one else. You know, they I I get it. No one's gonna cater specifically for what the few and not what the many want. I'm I'm all for that, but. You you don't take out things that people loved. Oh, here, let me, let me add this. This is another thing they didn't take out. I forgot to read this off earlier. They've taken out the Galactic Conquest, and if you haven't played the Battlefront or Battlefront series before, uh, Galactic Conquest was this turn-based thing between you or a land party and or a computer. The the game. Um, where it was turn-based. You lead your army into a certain planet, certain map, and the game will hook, will you know decide what kind of nerfs it puts on you, and what bun where, and you can choose what benefits you put on the the uh, 
uh, the computer. And it was probably some of, some of the most fun I've ever had when you turn on XL units. XL units make the uh, the whole game, you know, ramped up. There's hundreds of units on screen. It throw, You start out with, say, 300 troops. You have 250 on screen for your team. So you're playing XL units in veteran mode with um, hardcore battlefront mode on. And these are all mods except for veteran mode. Um... It, it's just pure chaos, and it's some of the most fun I've ever had. You cannot do that in Battlefront 3. The way they've set it up, there's not going to be mods. There's there's nothing. There's nothing to work off of. Um, that's that's the way Battlefield has always been, but, you know, I I enjoy modding my Battlefront games. So I'm, I'm going to leave it at this and cut this off because I don't need to make an ass of myself by making this giant rant. Um... It's. I'm not gonna buy the game. That's very simple for me. There will be no bacon and Battlefront three together. It's not happening. I'm just gonna stick with my Battlefront two and, um, you know, kill my computer with 300 plus mods I have for it. It's yeah. Well, uh, yeah. EA Dice. Sorry, you you've kind of killed it off. And I watched um, Rooster Teeth's thing about Battlefront earlier today, and, I mean, they, they said it perfectly. People hate the new Battlefront game solely because of all they've taken out. And I get it, times have changed, but still, you don't do that. Well, uh, yeah, I'm going to sign this up before I start sounding repetitive and become redundant with my whole rant here. Have a good day, everybody, and uh, EA Dice, go fuck yourselves.